My name is Dr. Brian Holt and I lead the mapping team at Parkopedia. I also serve as the project leader for the Autonomous Valet Parking Project. The Autonomous Valet Parking Project is a 30-month project funded by Innovate UK and the Centre for Connected and Autonomous Vehicles. The goal of the project is to develop highly automated driving maps of car parks that are suitable for navigation and localization, develop the localization algorithms that best utilize those maps, and demonstrate all of this safely on our own autonomous vehicle. Autonomous valet parking is probably going to be the first truly autonomous feature that we will see in vehicles. By truly autonomous, I mean that a safety driver is not required and the driver is completely free to turn their attention away from the road. The driver will start by driving the car to the designated drop-off zone. It will be up to car park operators to decide where they want this zone to be placed. When the car is parked in the zone, the driver will exit the vehicle. For the purposes of this demo, a safety driver will enter the car and start the autonomous system. In a production system, this will be seamless and no safety driver will be required. The driver will now instruct the vehicle to park itself by pressing park on the app. The LED lights on the vehicle will change from green, showing manual control, to blue, indicating autonomous system control. The car will now plan a route to the desired parking spot, which is up one level and behind us, and when ready, it will follow the planned route. To estimate its position, the car will use a combination of wheel odometry and an inertial measurement unit and will update these estimates by triangulating its position using these artificial landmarks, which have now been mandated by the forthcoming ISO standard on automated valet parking systems. The car is now driving up the ramp, still under autonomous control, and following the path to the target parking spot. It will drive a bit beyond the spot and then reverse in. During this time, the driver is free to go off and do whatever he or she had planned the car is now parked and waiting for the driver to summon it back to the pickup zone. In the same way as the park function, the driver presses summon on their smartphone app and the car returns to the pickup zone. Once in the pickup zone, the lights will change back to green, showing that control has now been handed over to the driver. You can find out more about the project at avp-project.uk.